All right, guys, Justin Brock here with Medicare Gurus, and I am sitting down today with Nick Micheletti. Um, we've done some, uh, some, some stuff together where we talked about product training whenever the Heartland hit before on video. I actually have another video he had sent us on my YouTube channel, but so far we've never got to see his beautiful face. So today we're actually graced with the face-to-face -face meeting and we're gonna we're announcing that, and, and some of you probably already seen the logo on the sponsorships on the site. But uh, Nick and Heartland National were the first gold sponsors for the Medicare Gurus Mastermind, and so just wanted to touch on a bit of our success for them, why we thought of them as one of the first to to speak out uh, or talk, reach out to, and and see if they wanted to sponsor. Um, you know, we we had tremendous success over AEP with their hospital indemnity plan. It is, um, you know, in many ways, the best hospital indemnity plan for the Medicare Advantage market. And then they also came out in about 10 states, or maybe a few more now, um, with their new Medicare supplement that is extremely competitively priced. So anyway, wanted to introduce Nick. So Nick, thank you so much for being here, man. Tell us a little bit about what you guys got going on. You bet, Justin. Thank you for having uh, having me this morning. I really appreciate it. But a lot of what we're kind of talking about, these products that we had such great success with during AEP are products that were built off of relationships that we've had with agents over a long period of time. Um, I know that the first time we interacted together was probably about three and a half years ago or, or something along those lines. And we hadn't even launched our hospital indemnity plan at that point. So a lot of it was under listening to our agent base understanding their needs and then developing those products um, that are going to match what the market's desiring. So even at that time, you and I were kicking around ideas on how to design that hospital indemnity plan to fit, you know, like a glove around Medicare Advantage plans that are out there. So really it was listening to that feedback, working with our actuaries, and then developing those products that our agents are asking for. So none of that can be done alone. Um, and that's why we appreciate the relationships that we have with our agents. Most of us here at Heartland National are agents ourselves. So we understand um, what the agent is experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. So not only just products, but in terms of technology, uh, we are significantly investing in our technology. If you look at our e-application and quoting tool on our hospital indemnity plan, I think it's one of the most seamless processes that are out there in the market from a, from a quoting and, and enrollment perspective. And we built that in house with our developers and programmers based off of the agent experience that we have here. So yes, um, we had a great AEP with that hospital indemnity plan. We launched it in July of last year. We had a really good AEP last year and we just uh, pushed that momentum into AEP in 2019. So as those Medicare Advantage plans are becoming more uh, popular because we do see an increase in those enrollments and continue uh, to see benefit-rich Medicare Advantage plans and many times $0 premium, it becomes important to make sure you're filling those gaps in those plans. And the way that we design that hospital indemnity plan is basically like a cafeteria-style plan. So you choose your base plan to cover that hospital admission or hospital stay, and then you've got seven different riders that you can choose from. So again, we're giving the agent flexibility and customization when they're uh, offering that plan to their clients. So it's no longer that one size fits all approach. And again, a lot of that was due to the relationships that we have with agents out in the field and what they're looking for. So that's uh, touching on the hospital indemnity plan. And then on the med sub side of things, you know, when I started working here about three and a half years ago, we were licensed in 20 states at that time. Um, and one of the directives our executive staff sent, uh, sent to me was to see if we could expand our national footprint. We really wanted to start investing in our insurance company and growing our insurance company. So with that said, we went through the whole NAIC expansion application process and we were actually admitted into 16 additional states. So we went from a 20 state insurance carrier to a 36 state insurance carrier, which then gave us the ability to launch additional Medicare supplement plans in some of those 16 states. As you alluded to, we do have 10 states that are available right now, very competitive states, Ohio, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Iowa. So some very strong Medicare supplement states where we've come in with the approach of being aggressively priced on plan G and plan N, um, top five, top 10 at age 65, but we're really targeting that replacement business between 68 and 75. So that was our strategy with Heartland National when we came out with our Medicare supplement states. We are looking at launching a plan F here in 2020. So those will be some new developments that are coming out from us. And then we also have four new states that we'll be launching as well. So really, again, 
Um, the relationships that we've got that go back a number of years, listening to our agents, creating products, releasing those products, uh, and we don't plan on stopping anytime soon. So all this momentum that we built with these two products, we're gonna continue to listen to our agent base, see what they need, develop, and then launch additional products down the road, especially with our increased national footprint across the country. Yeah, man, you, you had hit on, uh, well, uh, we, we met, I've been talking to a lot of people that are coming to the conference and I think there's so much value in relationships in our, our business. And uh, I know I'm, I, I, I alluded to on, on Facebook last night, uh, uh, talking about a, uh, a, a guy I met in an elevator in Dallas at a conference that actually led me to participate in the Turks and Caicos convention for Heartland financial group, which is where I met Nick. And so it's like, uh, so many people that I've met or interacted with have been at conferences. I either won, was invited to or attended on my own dime. Um, and I, I don't think I've ever been to one where I didn't make a connection that I consider like top tier. And, uh, I, I think that that's, that's where, and now me and you have, we've hung out on several occasions and, uh, and, and always have a great time, <laughs> but we always are able to uh, figure out more ways we can do business together. And, I, and I've been really uh, happy with our, our Heartland National um, production. We want to do more and more, but I think we did a, a couple hundred hospital indemnity um, applications in our hierarchy last year, and then uh, about 50 med stuff so far. So hopefully we uh, can, can do even more uh, over time. But it's a, it's a great expanding product for portfolios, especially for people in those, those specific states. But the hospital indemnity plan is, it's in almost every state you guys are in, right? I mean, it's in... It's in all 36 states. So yes, uh, if you look at our availability map all the way from the West Coast to the East Coast, it is available in all 36 states. That we A lot of people are writing other carriers and, uh, and I'm slowly... Uh, showing them why Heartland National is beating those other carriers in the hip market. I think a lot of what you guys did was talk to people who are already writing hospital indemnity and ask them what you, what, if they could design their own, what would uh, be improved. And some of the writers you have, um, the state availability, the e app process, um, you know, even down to compensation model, I think is better than, uh, I think it, it's, it, it actually uh, makes me wonder how some of the other carriers that had that product got away with, um, you know, uh, their compensation model and benefits package for so long since you guys kind of blew them out of the water in our opinion. Well, and some of that stems from, we had a 1.0 product that I mentioned a lot of times, the secure advantage product um, was the initial plan that we had. And with that product, all the benefits were built into it. And like I mentioned, it was kind of that one size fits all approach. So our eight years with having that product available really gave us the knowledge to create uh, the Secure Advantage Flex Plan. So taking the history, the knowledge that we've got, our agent base gave us the ability to design a product that was going to be competitive uh, that our agents were wanting. Yeah. Well, man, I, I'm excited to either you or Brandon uh, one, Brandon Reed, a lot of people that are working with you guys have worked with Brandon, super nice guy. Uh, either one of you guys is going to be uh, at the conference too. So um, one of the things we wanted is our carrier sponsors to have uh, people in there mingling. Cause I think a lot of times it helps build those relationships between you guys and the, uh, uh, and, and the brokers and uh, something different about this conference than a lot of them. Is, um, our, our target is the Medicare agent and agency owner. So, we have a lot of people that have signed up that are already running really successful agencies and or independent agent outfits. And uh, I think it'll be really good for you guys to communicate with them and, and get feedback too. Because a lot of times you have to take back as much. I know, you know I'm doing this mastermind. I know I'm going to learn as, as much as, as I, as I teach there because it's always the way it is. It's amazing when you get in the room and a lot of these people that are, that are coming to this one have, participated in online communities for a long time, but this is the first actual conference they're attending. And um, uh, I think they're going to be blown away with what the face-to-face -face interaction with carrier representatives, uh, as well as other agents and agency owners of all walks. You know, we got call centers, we got local outfits like ours. We have, uh, uh, you know, indie on the road, direct mail agents, all kinds of different ones. There's, there's more than one way to skin a cat and, everybody in there is profitable and you guys are actually working with people in all of those uh, different types of uh, outfits. And sometimes I've learned as much from a call center person 
uh, as I've learned from a street level agent and we start packaging that together. I remember watching interviews with uh, guys that were just going out and running direct mail leads that taught me, you know, about different cross selling avenues that we've, you know, come to, to use. And so I think that it's going to be great to get all you guys together um, and uh, really excited about it. And I think that the people that are going to be there that don't know about Heartland National, uh, that may be just one of the few or several takeaways they're going to have to pick up and be like, hey, there's a competitive med stuff in my backyard I've been seeing in CSG, but I didn't know who they were, so I was skipping them. Boom, now I have a face to the name. Plus, uh, I mean, there's a high likelihood that they're in one of the 36 states you guys have a hospital indemnity plan in. So, Yes, and, you know, as I alluded to earlier, we're going to continue to develop innovative products that our agents need. So if you haven't been a part of Heartland National to this point, uh, hopefully, you know, that we can make that connection while we're at the Medicare Mastermind event. Um, and then you can see that face with a name because we pride ourselves in being available to our agents. Uh, so whether it's training, whether it's supporting our agents, uh, we, we want to be there for them. Um, and then also, again, listen to what uh, feedback they're giving us to be able to provide those products down the road. So it's not a short-term plan that we have here. Uh, we have a long-term growth model and we're going to continue to keep best investing in our company. So um, it just makes sense for us to, to be out here at these events with our agents and uh, let them know who we are and where we're headed in the future. And then also let them know we're going to support them. So training, um, anything, maybe even just coming out for on-site visits, uh, understanding product design, even yourself, I would say, you know, one thing that our relationship uh, probably has given you is some knowledge into the back end, you know, loss ratios. You know, with Medicare supplement plans, why are you having rate increases? Well, the state mandates a certain loss ratio. And then, uh, you know, you're seeing loss ratios in the 90%. So that means you're going to have to take a rate increase. And, you know, how does it work by state? Well, it depends on how much business you have in that state. So a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes that agents don't really realize on a day-to-day -day basis, you've got the ability to meet with us and then learn those different things. And that's why the market is that the way that it is. And then also, I mean, for agents, uh, whether they're, you're new to the business um, or you're looking to take that next step, coming to a Medicare Mastermind event that you're putting on is going to give them a roadmap to accomplish what they want. And one of the things I was thinking about earlier this morning is, you know, I would love to be where I'm at without having made half the mistakes that I have. So getting to come to your event is basically learning from people who have already made those mistakes along the way, and then going to give you the ability to dodge those and actually be able to grow a lot faster because you're learning from someone who's already made those mistakes um, and which in life is, is extremely important. But um, if there's a better way to get to point from A to point B um, and not have to go through the bumps along the way, I think this investment is completely worth it for, their, for, your, for your agents or for the agents that are out there. And then it goes on, you know, one thing that you mentioned yesterday on Facebook was a lot of people say they're too busy. Well, You've got to make the time to invest in yourself if you want to grow your business. You can't keep coming with that same argument of I'm too busy. I've got a lot of uh, staff that I have to manage here. And sometimes I have to come in an hour early. Sometimes I have to stay two hours late. It's just a matter of investing in yourself to be able to accomplish, to be able to accomplish the goals that you want and turn your business into, some, into something uh, profitable or more than you ever thought it could be. Yeah, I definitely agree. I, I kept, I heard that from a few guys and I was just like, I was like, um, you know, not, not, I'm not an offended kind of guy, but I was sitting there thinking, do these people think I'm not busy? Yeah, <laughs> make the time to be successful. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm so busy. I, I miss stuff all the time that I'm, uh, that I'm like, you know, Oh my gosh, how did I forget that? You know, but it's just so much going on. Um, but you, you have to be It's a great problem to have to be way too busy. Uh, and, and sometimes, you know, I'm sitting there thinking I can sit here and continue to write business, but I'm, I'm trying. And one of the reasons we hire people is so I can be like, all right, you guys have to take on a higher load because I got to go to this conference for the next two days. And even while I'm there, I'm going back to my room for an hour and a half, you know, in between times and calling back people, you know, during that time. So there's uh, definitely a way that people can make more of an effort to do things. And of course, I'm not saying it has to be my mastermind, you know, I, but, but to invest the time to go to 8% nation, to go to uh, some of these other guys that are having get togethers to the Dallas conference that Heartland's doing to do all these different things, you know, uh, and carrier conventions. I see people saying they're turning down carrier conventions and I'm like, why? I, I, it's not just a trip. You, you, I mean, it's great to have a convention in a really cool place. 
But, um, you know, a lot of that too is, is getting in the room with other top qualifiers for that, you know, convention. So anyway, man, I, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I know you're, we're all busy and, uh, we're going to get back to the grind. I'm, I appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to do this and I'm uh, looking forward to, uh, you know, getting together in Memphis in April and, um, and, and learning more about, you know, what we can all do to help each other. You bet, Justin. Thank you for having me on the call. And if you haven't signed up yet, get out there and register for this event. It's going to be top notch. I've seen uh, the list of uh, speakers that you're having with Cody Askins, with Galen Hendricks, the whole crew. Um, if you want to grow your business, you need to be at this event and invest in yourself. So thank you again, Justin, and uh, look forward to seeing you coming up here soon at your event and then on the cruise that we've got in May. So we work hard, but we also reap the rewards of our hard work. That's right. Thank you so much, Nick. I'll talk to you soon, man. Thank you.